Some emotional moments today as a Utah hero returns home. The body of Army Sergeant Aaron Butler, who was killed in Afghanistan last week, arrived in Monticello this afternoon. News specialist Alex Cabrera was at the Monticello airport when his body was turned over from the military to his family and says it appears the whole community came out to support them. Can you girls spread out just a little bit? Spread out just a little bit. There are some lessons. Perfect. You just can't learn inside classrooms. I'm really hoping to instill a little patriotism in them. Which is why Deidre Torres brought her third grade students at Monticello Elementary outside to see what patriotism really is. I'm really hoping that they remember this moment. That moment was Aaron Butler coming home. Butler, an Army Special Forces soldier, was killed last week in Afghanistan. He arrived at the Monticello airport this afternoon, where his family and friends were waiting. He's coming home on his birthday, and I cannot think of a more fitting thing to happen for Aaron at this time. And as the procession came through town, bringing his body to the mortuary, all those third graders and so many others were there to welcome him home. They honored um, Aaron really well today. Funeral services for Aaron Butler are this Saturday here in Monticello. We will be here as well to share those stories with you about how the community is coming together and how they are supporting the Butler family. Aaron Butler is now back home. For Live at 5 in Monticello, I'm Alex Cabrera. Alex, thank you. Alex was there reporting during that emotional ceremony as the military transferred Butler's body to his family. To see his full report there from the airport, go to the Today's Top List playlist on our KSL TV app. Again, Butler's funeral will be held Saturday at noon in Monticello.